Yeah, hi guys. Um, a friend of mine came over earlier, Marcus, and asked me how to tag video files. He said he's been on YouTube and been on the internet, and um, there's file uh, programs that, and, and folders that you have to do and do this and do that. And I said, no, nah. I said it's, it's basically simple. If you've got MP4 files, it's a piece of cake. Um, and he said that he uses iTunes, but he doesn't want to use iTunes anymore because it's just a pain in the ass for him because it overtakes his entire media library. So I showed him how to do it, and yeah, he's he's gone away, and hopefully he's going to get it right. I'm going to show you. So let's go into my movies, and as you can see, I've got an abundance of movies because uh, I am a bit of a film buff. So I'll quickly show you how to do this. Now this only works with MP4s and as you can see I've got um, AVIs and MP4s in this folder but you need to convert them which I'll show you in a little while in, in the video. So if you've got an MP4 file as you can see they are proper movies and they do have the tags on them and it's quite uh, it's quite simple to do basically now believe it or not the piece of software that you need is in fact music software not video software And it's called mp3 tag so download that it's a free program just delete these two here it's a free program it doesn't cost you anything at all and like I say it is easy to tag your mp4s so let's go into Johnny English here and as you can see they're both mp4 files <coughs> Now open your MP3 tag, and then just drag one of these these MP4 movie files. Um, they're not music files; they're actually MP4 files. And then you can go into Google and get your image, or you can use a program which is what I use, FreeCovers.com uh, or .net, whatever it is, and um, get the covers from there. But for this demonstration, I'll just get them from from Google. So we'll just type in Johnny English DVD covers. Go to images. And you do have plenty here to choose from. Um, you, have, you only really need the front cover, you don't need the back cover. So you can download one and just crop it and then obviously save it. Uh, here's one I made earlier, as it were. <laughs> um, good quality. And what you need to do in MP3 tag is basically highlight the file. Just move that out of the way. And then drag the image into that box. And one thing that you must do is save. If you click the save button, give it a few seconds, and it will pop up that it saved it. And there you have your tag. Um, very simple to do. Once it's tagged, it's tagged for good. Um, unless you go in and remove the tag, I'll do the uh, the Johnny English to reborn. And I'll show you this, and you'll see it change before your very eyes. And then just, oh, didn't mean to do that. I deleted that. Hold on. Drag it into the box. And then click Save. And as you see, there it is, tagged. And that's basically... How you tag your movies, it's that simple, really. Um, 
just make sure that you download mp3 tag and your files are mp4s and as you can see you don't lose any quality either Now with MP4s, um, I use Windows Media Player because I can play to my Samsung TV. Um, normally I use a Pop Player, but I haven't set that up to stream to my TV yet. Right, now to convert your AVI files to MP4, it's very simple. Um, download the program Handbrake. And again, that's a free program. I do like it. It's very simple to use. Very basic. Uh, find an AVI file. And then click on the source and search for your AVI file within Handbrake. Uh, let's use this one here. Now if you have problems from converting you end up with um, video looking like this it can be very annoying especially if you've converted for an hour and a half uh, if you haven't got a lot of memory on your computer and it does take a while um, it can be a pain in the arse especially when, when you're playing it back and it looks like that. Now the thing that you need to do is go on to your filters and then just make sure that the deinterlace is set to off and hopefully you shouldn't um, you shouldn't have that that problem with them lines and you can change the settings I leave the settings on 20 as it is um, that's enough for me that's that is fine I don't need it to be anything else and this is why I like handbrake because it does take um, only a few minutes to convert and it's just so simple to use and the files come out looking like they went in where a lot of conversion software is you have to mess around with the settings so yeah that's how you convert your AVIs to your MP4s and then you'll be able to tag them in MP3 tag and that's it guys if if you have any more problems um, send me a message and I'll try and answer it for you thanks for watching